Boys. This guy here for the Bitchin' Report. Uh, Kim Trail spotting number two. Uh, today is November 17th. You can see that right here. Uh, we're looking at the Pacific Ocean. It is a 35 a.m. And we're going to start over here in the Atlantic today. Uh, Mid-Atlantic. There's a cloud being torn apart. You can see right here, obvious chemtrailing. All of this. Those are all chemtrails. This is a chemtrail goo. Chemtrail goo. Actually, should be referring to those as chem clouds. You can see some chemtrailing going on in here. Really bright. Probably down here. In this bay right there. Just taking a guess. Look at this. Right there. That's a chemtrail. You can see the fading of the actual chemtrail. This right here. How obvious can you get? If you cannot see those lines, you need to put your glasses on, my friend. Kim trailing, Kim trailing. We will come back tomorrow and we will see this significantly reduced. Significantly reduced. All right. Not usually anything in the uh, in the Gulf of Mexico to scream home at, but this has all been Kim trailed. You start seeing the color. The color that they turn, this this matte gray color, I don't know what the real color would be. Uh, and once you, once you recognize that this is where they're spraying, you, you could just pull up the map and see what's going on. That's what this series is all about, is to show their people, show all of you folks exactly... What is going on? Doesn't this look a little out of place to anybody? That's a straight line of clouds. Look, here's another straight line of clouds. Look, you can see this right here. Bonk. Okay. We'll give the satellite some, uh, some slack on this one. But you can see all the chemtrailed lines through this. Up here in the north. This blob, nothing good going on. All that chemtrailing right here. Look at this. Let's go up north. Here's where we're at. I am not going to go outside. Well, I'm a little out of the woods. That's a little further north than me. Chemtrailed. Now they've grained this out. I've got some. I've got some older footage, um, where if, when you scroll in like this, the definition gets very clear. And several years ago, they did away with that, and now you get this horribly 1980 Atari pixelated bullshit. Let's look at our uh, dot up here. We still have a little semicircle. I have to come back to that later. So this is up and down again. Here we go again. What is going on? Clouds don't move that way. Let's check it out. See, they, they pixelate this so you can't really tell. You can see this line right here, the trailing, the, the uh, leading line right here. About up here, across from Japan. Hmm, looks a little straight to me. Yeah, this this stupid pixelation, man. They really, they really got you. Looks like a mess right there. There we go. There's a good one. 
you guys down in the the Philippines, Indonesia, this area, Vietnam, you guys get hammered with this garbage all the time, all the time. I mean, if this isn't obvious right here, that these are actual straight lines in the clouds, I don't know, I don't know what, what else to tell you. Down here, this is all yuck, muck. See this? How about this right here? Right angle. How about this right here? All yuck, all muck. Dang it, I'm running over. All yuck, all muck. You can see that. You guys, you guys over in Jakarta, man. Yuck. How about uh, Australia? Get an Australian report in. Oh. It's right here. Look at how straight this is. Look at how straight that is. Oh, that is one Kim Cloud yuck. We need to go to the other side of the world here and they're not gonna let us play from one edge. What is this? What's going on right here? Why are they so down? Why are they down so far? This Antarctica is always cloudy. Uh, I I hope it's a natural deal and not spray because it is ridiculously cloudy. Uh, constantly around the uh, around Antarctic. Here we go. We got our friend. Shut your light off, buddy. Shut your light off. Everybody wants to go to sleep. How about this right here? Look at that. That's all Kim trailed. Indian Ocean. So again, I ask the question. If this is globally accepted by all of these other countries, to either spray themselves or to allow another country to spray them. Where is the Geneva Convention against using the public as guinea pigs? What happened with that? So we must have a global consensus on, on this spraying. So if that's the case, wow, look at that. All the way into that cloud right there. See, this is what you're looking for. These straight lines like that, with these this little fade coming off of it. I'll add a couple of pictures right here in this spot. Check this out. That should show you uh, kind of what we're looking at. You can see this right here. That is too perfect. Too perfect. So they're not even trying to hide it anymore. They're not even lying. Harvard put out a, a, a press release a couple of months ago saying that uh, they, they were going to start studying the effects of geoengineering, aerosol spraying, uh, to see the effects of, of how well they uh, reflect sunlight back up to the earth. Obviously, we have a global problem, at least that's what the excuse is, and they are going to try to solve it, poisoning us. There is no way around it. We are all being poisoned in this process until we get more people involved uh, make more noise about it. Uh, this is going to continue happening. So 10 minutes That's far too long. I'll try to get these shorter a little long-winded when I find this stuff So we'll leave it right there for the bitchin report. I'm this guy here bringing you the information you need to be an informed human being